What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naninga Kwe. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, I'm going to apologize on this video again, although it's the same day I'm actually filming, for two things. One, my voice. My voice has gone because, well, I have a cold or something of the sort and it's not contagious. So yeah, don't worry guys. It's not gonna catch you online. Uh, the second thing I'm going to apologize for is this makeup. Yes, I did a makeup tutorial on Eurocentric beauty standards. So these spots are supposed to be freckled, if you know what I mean. So you can check out that video, how the Eurocentric beauty standards stand out. But we're not here for the goody goody things. We are here today for the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. The fact that we can actually purchase things that are useless. You're right. I did purchase things that are completely and utterly useless. It doesn't even look real. Or actually non-beneficial and actually disadvantageous. So some of them were disadvantageous to purchase and others were just useless, completely useless, cannot be used. I might as well have given a chokora that money or just given out that money. Completely, I was completely and utterly and waste of my money. You know, I just, it may have been cheap, but it was completely useless. Like I might as well have bought a donut and eaten. Is this? Yes. And I'm just going to basically insert for you some TikToks as to why these things are completely and utterly useless. I didn't even bother to try them um, because they just looked impractical. So these are baby hairs, guys. And for those of you who follow me, you know that I do haul videos and also product reviews. I review for you guys items that people might not be reviewing for you guys like these things but this was so useless to the point that i did not even see the point of reviewing it so don't be bothered to buy stick on baby hairs for those of you who don't know what baby hairs are it's those hairs that chicks normally put around here so you just enjoy the tiktoks that i'm going to insert because they're hilarious <laughs> So this is the first thing that I just completely threw my money away for. Literally, I should have just bought a packet of fries and eaten. It doesn't even look real. So the next useless thing similar to this is eyebrow stickers like seriously if it was that easy to get eyebrows everyone would be doing it but there's a reason not everyone is doing it save your money do not be tempted to purchase them they're only practical maybe if somebody installs them for you and either way I feel like they're still not practical because immediately you shower they start flaking off and you just end up with a mess that is difficult to remove and it's messy. So don't be bothered with this. I tried them a couple of times for my videos and looking back, I looked crazy, crazy, crazy. Look at how bushy and nice they look. They're not practical, guys. Don't be fooled. Out of the way with things that completely were a waste of my money. Um, they were impractical and very useless, to be honest. We are now going to talk about stuff that was actually disadvantageous on my part. I, I mean, I've not been paid to do this video by any company. All the videos I've done, I have not been paid. I don't even have the number of subscribers required like to do such videos, but I thought that I'd help somebody out there. The first thing that I got that was completely a waste of my money because it ended up being disadvantageous on my part on my part only, I don't know about other people's skin, is this. <laughs> I hate to do this to this company because this company has really good Ayurvedic products. For those of you who don't know, Himalaya Herbals, it's even written since 1930. Yeah, Himalaya Herbals really has good 
Ayurvedic products or natural products that don't have harmful stuff in them. They use natural, completely natural products. And they're a good company. But this Tan Removal Orange Face Scrub, I don't like its formula at all. It feels like those scrubs that we used to use in the 1990s. And I feel that they can upgrade their formulas. It feels like a lotion mixed with a scrub, you know. And it gave me acne. It worsened my acne. That's why um, anytime I would use it, my acne would worsen. That's why I uh, would... Of course, uh, if you don't have a problem with acne, I can say it would be a good thing to remove your tan. Not everyone has a problem with acne. So if you know that you have acne-prone skin, acne-prone, stay away from this. But if you know that you don't have acne, definitely you can give it a try. But it's too heavy, it's too thick and too lotion-y uh, for acne-prone skin. So I've just had it in my closet for like three months now. I think I should give it to somebody who doesn't have acne. So that was a complete and utter waste of my money. I don't like, for those of you who know me and if you've been following me, I'm the kind of person who finishes even a setting powder to the last drop. So whenever I don't use a product, I feel so bad. Like, yeah, complete and utter waste of my money. product is from a company that I tried searching and searching for it from Jordan. And it's the Photoblock Plus SPF 50. I'm the kind, okay, you guys won't be able to see, but I'll just insert I for you a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So this sunscreen cream with anti-aging effect. For those of you who have been who are not new to my channel, you know that I have to use anti-aging products because I don't want to really use Botox. <laughs> so I started using them at a very young age. I started using them in my 20s. Um, like late 20s that's when I started using anti-aging products so this sunscreen cream with anti-aging effect I've always been using sunscreens and I always advocate for the use of sunscreens uh, because of various reasons but this was again if you have acne prone skin avoid this one there's another one they have the same company that is also I think SPF 50 I think but it's a gel that one was good on my skin. It didn't give me acne or worsen my acne. So, but the cream, the other one I'm saying was a gel formula. Mm. This is a cream formula and it made my acne so horrible that I stopped using it. I only use it on my hands, maybe when I'm going to thrift or something. So, Photoblock Plus, acne prone skin. It was a complete and total waste of my money. So, yeah, avoid it if you do have acne-prone skin. But definitely, it works if you do not have acne-prone skin because I used their gel formula and it was one of the best sunscreen formulas I have ever used. So, if you know that you're acne-prone, don't. So, guys, those are the products that I regret buying complete buying these products kabisa kabisa like i regret buying them i feel like i wasted my money which i did because they were not beneficial to me they were not giving me the results that they promised and they actually worsened my skin so yeah guys so i hope that you have gotten my two cents i personally do not believe in trashing any company because as i always say companies do their best and that is a fact they do their best to bring out the best products for consumers. But sometimes you can purchase something that is not good for your skin. That's why I had to mention that these products were not good for acne-prone skin. Yeah, like mine. My skin is acne-prone, but they were not good for it. And others were just useless and marketing gimmicks and just, you know, outrageous. Yeah, so thank you guys. If you have reached this point in the video, like I always say, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you stay, you know, you watch my videos because 
I mean, I give positive vibes. I'm that kind of person. And image positivity, I don't always look like this. So if you like makeup, fashion, beauty, um, uh, what is it called? I know those are superficial things, but I always make sure to come to the camera looking like my natural state so that, you know, you get motivated a bit, you know. I have gray hair. I have um, premature grain. I have acne. And I always come on the camera like that so that, you know, you know, you don't get a superficial lifestyle from me. And this video, is my channel is all about product reviews, makeup. I do have a vlog channel, but I haven't had the chance to post on it because of COVID. I am really careful about COVID, so I haven't had the chance to post on my vlog channel. And I also do like hair. Uh, I also do clothing, hauls and all that, just to make sure that you guys are getting the best product and the best deals on those products so thank you so much guys for watching and freckles i'll see you in my next video <laughs> ciao